To celebrate Imperator Day, I decided to play as the hardest start in the game. Meet the Antigonids. Shortly after starting the game, you'll be declared on by the Macedonians, and, and then by the Egyptians, and then by the Seleucid Empire. You might think a three-front war is a little bit rough, but don't worry, because there's more. Three different tribes that are trying to settle in Anatolia are also going to come after you. I'm about to show you a full video of war. From the point where the Macedonians declare war on me, I'm not going to be at peace for the entire video. Also, I'm going to be hosting a Creator Imperator multiplayer today to celebrate Imperator Day and to try and get as many eyes and concurrent players to revive the game. The link's going to be in the comments, so anything you do to support, like, you know, just watching it or booting up Imperator would be greatly appreciated. Alexander is dead and we are playing as the Antigonids. Literally, we are the antagonists in this. So, uh, in terms of the Antigonids, we, we have a, a fun little thing where all of the Diadochi will fight us, pretty much, and we're in the middle of them all, meaning we are going to be attacked by everyone. I'm going to see what I, if I can do anything to stop that. Um, and also, before you mention it, yes, my hair is miserably horrible today. I can't do anything about it. Some days it's curly than others, and we're left with this. <laughs> so the Antigonids are basically just sort of holding in there, uh, thanks to Antigonus, but he's almost dead. And as you can see, Seleucos, from the Seleucids, have reclaimed the unruly and irrelevant east, uniting with the other Diadochi against Antigonus' Spear One Kingdom, whilst they fought all manner of vainglorious successes, regicide, kinslaying, and wanton apotheosis. It's a great word, apotheosis. Okay, so, for 10 years, we're going to grab ourselves some discipline and some national tax. And, uh, well, it's all about survival and uh, creating a stable realm. I'm going to see if I can actually make some headway into creating Alexander's uh, realm once more. So I could try and ally a, uh, <laughs> an Antig a, a, a Ptolemaic kingdom, but I'm not going to. A Diadochi, but, uh, yeah, that's not me. If I own Corinth, I get, for five years, Moral of Armies and Siege Ability. Hmm. And then non-Macedonian minor Hellenistic countries and regions will receive plus 50. Ha. Huh. So we can do some Macedonian... Well, the stuff that Macedonians do in terms of the uh, feudatory system. So it's sort of like a vassal swarm. Hmm. Okay, and at the end... All right. Formalized divinity. I don't know if we'll be able to... Sure, we'll try. Well, to start with, we are going to do this and get an eastern capital. New city of Antagonia represents not only the development of this realm, but also the combination of... This life of statecraft and warfare. We've come so far. So Phoenician timber, riches of Sicilia, secure frontiers. This is all going to collapse very quickly. On the bright side, we do have a decent-ish military. And we have, oh, we already have four cultures integrated. Oh, that's kind of rough. Okay. What that means, by the way, is, uh, yeah, see here, the number of integrated cultures was 12%. Kind of rough. That's why you can't just integrate everyone. Also means I should kind of only expand in the areas where I have got these uh, things. So Phrygian, okay, sure, that's fine. We're going to go a lot of martial advances here. We're going to need them. We're also going to need foundries. Get ourselves some extra stuff here. Get some professional training. What I need to start doing next is this stuff. So there we go. A military idea, we're going to grab ourselves morale of armies. And then two oratory ideas. We have four monthly corruption and also improve opinion. Because the heritage of Antigonus, we get four defense minus 10%. Great. Um, but we have siege ability and nice reputation. So that's nice. So everyone considers themselves scorned. <laughs> that's, that's great. Oh, let's just invent a bunch of positions in these navies. There aren't any Antigonids for that. Okay, sure. Oh, God. You can see we are quite split. Copper simulation speed might be an idea. Because 1% discipline is not going to matter. Okay, let's just do that. I don't know how the hell we're going to defend any of this, to be honest. Okay, what do we need to do next? Fortify the borders. Daidokai conquest. Oh, my God. I mean, a lot of these we could do quite easily, I guess. Bridge to Sicilia. Oh, yeah, it's 12 marshal, which is nice, at least. Okay, I think we're about ready to get cracking. You don't have any food. Well, yeah, because this army's eating it all. Secure the Antigonid kingdom. Own Corinth. Huh. And then it won't splinter upon his death if we own Corinth. We really need to go for Corinth, basically. We do have a ton of feudatories ourselves, which is nice. I might just call up our troops now? Let's just wait for a tick. After Demetrius smashed the Egyptian fleet of Salamis, he sent his most trusted officer with the news of our great victory. Okay. Demetrios, now clothed as co-king, has taken to mocking the other Diadochi and giving the derogatory title. 
So Lucas, the commander of elephants, Thomas, the admiral, like Simeus, the treasurer. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. When they hear of this, we'll not be pleased. All right, we either tell him to focus on his victory, and everyone likes us, or we get province loyalty. Screw it. We're antagonizing everyone. <laughs> it's in our blood. I'm going to go ahead and go to free trade. Cancel these two. And these as well. I need to reset these. I need to get dates, because dates give us uh, national commerce income. Military seems to be mostly made up of light infantry, which is kind of rough. So we do need, actually, some of these metals. Okay. Having built the largest empire the world has ever seen, he's dead. Our reputation of the protector of the free Greek cities has earned us many friends amongst the smaller Greek states. Otherwise, we now stand alone. The empire belongs to the strongest. If we fail to conquer Corinth, your empire will splinter when Antagonist dies. Or we outlast them. Which gives him more health, but all of his skills are reduced. Screw it. I don't need to do that. Okay. We're going to summon our troops and go straight up against uh, Macedon immediately. Oh boy. Salamis becomes owned by Greece. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're going to fight him. Cassandros will rule the day. After the Heraclean effort that carries out the siege of Rhodos, the Antigonists turn their eyes west. The free city-states of Greece will march onto the Discipline League with the sole aim um, to pen in the ruthless Cassandros and the remnants of his forces still present in Macedon. That's the plan. All right, here we go. He's chosen war over reason. All right, so we're at war immediately. Hmm. We'll look to improvement in the entertainment of our people. Our vicious rise will, of course, descend on us. So we can either bypass the eastern capital or and, and get our money back will have no effect. What is this going to do? I'd rather have the, the tax, to be honest. Like, tax population growth, that all sounds good. I don't really think we need to, yeah, worry about uh, celebrations. Oh, nice. That's nice. The, uh, they just gave me money from Athens. Okay, so we have tons of our little vassals turning up. They're all going to go there. You don't have any food. Why not? Go get food from someone, man. He's, they're just starving to death. They have no, <laughs> no resources. Uh, it's about this lot. And we march on Macedon. Okay, so everyone here is our ally. Everyone there is a rival. I mean, simple enough, right? Yeah, they're not... Increasing the food capacity in any way. These guys are just starving. Okay, there we go. Now they're increasing some food. We need more base metals to sort out our light infantry offense. Ooh, okay. War with the Ptolemaics. Okay, I think we're going to have to mad rush the uh, Macedonians. And then hope the... It just like... And just wait down south. So we might have to play with some mercenaries. And just play for time. Down there. And we'll see how that goes. There's nothing really I can do about it. I could redirect my forces, I guess. Let's hire some mercenaries. And they can hold the southern front for a little while. Okay, what we're going to do with this 18k then is we're going to go straight for Macedonia. Like the capital. Yeah, we, we can't afford to fight the Carthaginians. Right, let's get rid of the siege. Alright, send out the troops. Oh, Antigone has... Uh, he's got dementia. That's not good. If you can stop that, that'd be fantastic. Remember, this is a special kind of Casus Belli, which means we actually get the territory once we conquer it. And obviously, he gets that as well. Ooh, okay. Okay, there's a battle here. We've won that battle. Barely. All right, we need to do this quickly, so let's go and get our other troops. And in the meantime, these, uh, these guys over here are just going to hover. We're not going to try and push on the on the Egyptian front. We're just going to push on the Greek front. Secure Antigone position. Sweet. Let's do that so it doesn't splinter. Excellent. So we've taken Corinth, which is the important part there. And we are at war with these guys here, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, the Ptolemaics are here. Ah, the Seleucids are also fighting us. Mm. Okay, so the Seleucids are going to be coming. The issue is with this. Mm. To be sure, this playground could be completed, which is going to give us siege ability and morale of armies. That sounds good. Corinth is going to give... What's this? We either release him as a feudatory subject or... Okay, we'll just... Yeah, we'll release him as a feudatory subject. Why not? Okay, it's part of the troops. And our ships should be arriving. Where are they? I'm basically playing this in real time because there are so many fronts. Uh, do we... I think we just need to mass on the Macedonian front and then just defend. I reckon we, we'll probably lose territory up until here. Obviously, I'll try not to, but... Yeah. Okay, we've got Larissa. Thrace declares war on Antigonids, or we see the sea land threat. Okay, we can't do that. So, 
Here we go. Okay, let's stack more men on these ships. And then I think we need to go and block... You know what? I'll go straight for Thrace as well. Going to fully commit in the west. Okay, so the Egyptians are massing. Uh, our friend in Cappadocia has, uh, has fallen. It's a bit rough. The Seleucids still haven't arrived. We do have... A I need to take that fort actually before they do. Because they can just... Sort of well, we have a couple of forts, you know. Okay, conquest of Pella. We just sieged down Pella. I mean, I don't see the point in burning it down. I'm not going to sack it. I'm not going to sack it. All right, we're probably going to have a bit of a painful fight here. This is for the ages. Nice. Okay, run out of food just as we started fighting. Okay, secure frontiers. Fortify the borders against the chosen Diadochi. That's probably what we want to do next. I think I'm going to secure in the east. I'm going to do that. Ah, I didn't actually fully have my men on board. That kind of sucks. They're actually going to win that battle, apparently. That's useful. Now let's go to Thessaloniki. Yeah, they're going to really push into here. I mean, they've got... Oh God, their guy's 12. Why? First level low agent. Why do you have 12? Not sure why you're attacking me here. Seems ill-advised, but okay. I like looking at this front. It's a very simple front. I might transport these troops to go and help on the Egyptian front. 12k. Hmm. Port exhaustion is high. Yeah, I wonder why. Okay, the Seleucids are hit. I'm actually going to pay for a higher fort maintenance. It's going to help with our fort defense. Alright, we're going to take Thessaloniki. Okay, I need access here, please. There you go, Adama Fortress is done, which is nice. Or Adma, sorry. And we're going to land this lot over here. We're in a big battle against Thrace. And this lot, oh yeah, it's going to be a slog, hopefully, through the south. Where's Adma? This is Adma? Oh my god, that's not even worth it. I thought it was going to be like one of these ones. I should have read that better. Okay, we're going to have a battle here. And what's this? Okay, sure, I'll lose some manpower. Why not? We won a battle over here. All right, hopefully we win that. We should do. What tactic are they using? Shock. I've never felt more comfortable in my decision to uh, heavily invest in the military before. All right, he's left. 11k up north we're going to have to deal with. Hey, he's actually going to Adma, so that's nice. Uh, this general's disloyal. He's sort of doing things on his own, which is fine. He's, he's doing quite well. I did lose a battle over in Thrace, which is not ideal. I'm going to fight up north. Is he going to get reinforced? I think he's being reinforced by a retreating army. Okay, the south seems to be secured at least. Well, the south of Greece. Not, not this south. Okay, I'm not going to not gonna challenge any of these yet. Ooh. The entire proclamation, Hellenic pride. Nice. Must ensure their obedience is secured by the province of minimal domestic interference, treat them as allies rather than subjects. That sounds good to me. <laughs> All owned provinces in Asia need to have at least a total of 118 slave hops that are at least 50% happy. Yeah, I don't know that's happening. I'll get Greek colonists, why not? What we're going to do on the side here is let him go up there. We're going to go and take his, basically his like, support, if that makes sense. Alright, Macedon is almost complete. Okay, and this needs to stop now. Bribe, make sure he's loyal. Uh, let's... We're going to do this. I'm going to give you free hands. Is that going to make you loyal? You're still disloyal? Dude, why? Okay, he's not disloyal anymore. Good. We need to go and mop up these cities. Yeah, this is what I feared. Um, we are kind of getting a bit outnumbered here. I need the Cappadocians to come help. Alright, Siege of Philippos is won. Perfect. Then this should start to be the end. We have one more fort to take and then Macedon is secured. I can leverage that against something else. Question is, will the Cappadocians follow me? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to gamble yes. Okay. Greek colonists, where are you going to go? I don't know where any of these places are. Let's send them to Syria. Expand Thassos gold mines. I don't know that I can afford that right now. No other Diadochi. Let's see. All the non Macedonian and Hellenic cultures in our country also get the same thing. Hmm. No other Diadochi owns or have subjects in the provinces over here. If I take Argos, then they won't. There you go. That's that lot dealt with. So it looks like the Thracians actually employed mercenaries and then can no longer afford them. Okay, it looks like we killed 2,000 troops in, over here in this Lucid Empire, which is good. Okay, I'm going to send these uh, men with the 15k west, uh, sorry, east to deal with the, uh, the Thracians and come up behind them. Fortunately for me, they're sieging down territory that won't automatically flip to them. 
unfortunately, this keeps on happening. They've been slowly pushing north this entire time in, in Egypt. They're going to be our biggest competitors. I think we need to fight Masseron Thrace to complete destruction, raise those levies, and then uh, go down south. I'm really not sure that we can fight. I think the Seleucids are too far, really. I think the Tomei Kingdom, at least we can make a dent in. Okay, we killed 5,000 of their troops. We lost 2,000. Uh, we lost the siege down there. Oh, boy. Okay. And we're fighting them again over here. How are they able to just walk past that? <laughs> That's upsetting. We can just gain a bunch of money. Thank you. We need that desperately. Okay, so we've beaten them there. I reckon we go straight for the, the fort, to be honest. Or do we head south and deal with them? Fire defensive war. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight defensive war. See if we can arrest the uh, the Ptolemaic advance. Okay, I think we have all territory down it. We just need Ro like um, Argos now. So we'll send a couple thousand men down there. I'm not doing anything else, so yeah, we'll go do that. The leader is disloyal. The governor of Syria. I just put you in there. All right, screw it. We'll bribe you. Yeah, there's 13,000 men there. Catch them, please. Blockading them so no more men can get across here. So we should have three. It's pretty much locked down. Getting a lot more money now. Two piece from Macedon. No. I'm going to wipe you out. Oh, that's that's a lovely sight. Thank you. Ooh. No longer would Dokumus Traclodes be known as a man of inaction. All people's friend of foe shall lord the name of Dominikos the Conqueror. Who is that? The governor of Phrygia. That's cool. Dude, they are running up our coast. I could hire more mercenaries now. Any other big stack? 6,500. I think I do need to hire more mercenaries. We'll get this lot. All right, let's spread out. The beauty of this is that he can't get across the port. Are you disloyal? No. Let's put an Antigonid in here, apparently. He sucks at finesse, though. So we're not going to do that. Oh, we put Pyrrhus in. Hello. Didn't, really have, didn't even realize we had Pyrrhus. Uh, we'll put you there. Select you and send you lot up there. Yeah, this is kind of getting nasty. Don't get greedy later. And they're back. Okay, the, the uh, Eastern Front is not really going to hold that much longer. Lost the Siege of Ascalon. That's really bad. Look at them start marching off our coastline. Okay, fortunately, most of these areas left our forts. Okay, we killed all of Argos' troops. So we just finish this up and that'll be them done. It's like Athens is about to get minced. Oh, were well, you expect me to join in? I can't join in. There's a chance we win that. Uh, our side... I mean, the Feudatory is doing great. Ooh. I don't want to fight that, but I kind of have to. That's a lot. That's just flipped over to us. Oh, God. Okay. So the only people we can... I think Macedon's dead. There's now the a war against Argos. Yeah, so the Macedonians are gone. Which is a relief. All right, send them west. Oh, east, sorry. I don't know that we can fight the Ptolemaics, to be honest. We can try. Okay, this is getting occupied by other people, which is a shame. Because he's going to walk around it. No. We do need to stop this advance, really. Will we win that? That's the question. We're going to have to try it. I was kind of hoping the Cappadocians would stick with me because then we have enough troops together. Ooh! Jesus Christ! they got five stability. Okay, so we're actually more stable than the Ptolemaic, so we're just going to keep the war going against them. Thrace wants to take the capital, probably would dip. Do need to fight Argos, finish that up, and then that's the West done. The issue is there's a lot of them over here. Huh, new pretenders in the Ptolemaic Kingdom could be sported. We'll have to do that. Alright. Fight them here. Nice. So they're using skirmishing. I don't know if we should change our tactics. Might be an idea. Okay, that's a good victory there. Okay, we killed 2,000 there. Alright, let's see. The ocean is ours. Nice. Uh, we have the gold for this. And Antigone, Antagonia's port. Do all the ports should be our focus or no need to limit ourselves? Northern ports. I don't know what that did. I'm not really focusing on governance so much as survival. Okay, our big fort's about to fall. Yeah, it's rough, but we can't do anything about it. Come on, please win that on 10%. Okay, we won the Siege of Sycon. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's uh, the Ptolemaic Egyptians. Okay, we actually caught half of them, which is nice. And the Siege of Argos is done as well. So what I'm going to do with Argos is make them... A tributary. Now oh, this leader's disloyal. All right, give him free hands. Dude, everyone loves free hands. Okay, over here we won a battle. 
They were getting attacked now. That's a good place to fight. Those are Seleucid flags. Dude, we're getting we're fighting so many battles over here. Unfortunately, our big four is gonna fall. Uh so there's that. <laughs> we're just gonna leave us open. Uh the Seleucids are a bit of an issue right now. Their stability is also low. Yeah, there's that. That's a rough one. Okay, they're black flagged. Do I do I push back? I mean, there are forts here to hold them. But not that many. I kind of want to go straight for Ascalon and try and get it back as quickly as possible. Uh, we could hire some more mercenaries. We're going to do it. Just a delay until we can get the rest of our forces over there. Okay, we finished that war. Okay, Thrace is almost uh, done as well. What I think I need to do now is send the navy to go pick up some guys uh, over here. Let's check them all on boats. Several stunning victories actually down here. Come on, please win that. You got this, buddy. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we're really getting pushed over in Syria. A lot. I don't know, I don't know about this. Do we need to swing east as soon as possible? All right, we're going to go pick up these troops. And then we'll get cracking uh, eastwards. Okay. That's that done. Thrace has been completely occupied. We've got 13,000 men that can just sort of sit here and hang around. Okay, Dindaria. That's fine. We've got troops here to, to come fight that. There's so many Seleucids now. <laughs> Barbarian hordes are marching on Delphi. So we get war score from battles in these. Uh, I don't think I can take territory because I need to occupy it. Ugh. There's a lot of troops over there. That's another city. All right, we're going to have to pull back to our capital, basically. And then, then in our final moments, we might have a hero in the form of this, uh, this navy. All right, look, you run away. This guy, the reason I bought him is he's got 14k on him. Uh, okay, we're going to take this fort, and that will hopefully st stop them. And then we rush north and try and send back these Seleucids. In the meantime, let's deal with these barbarians. Cool. Ghouls in Anatolia. Yeah, fine. Whatever. <laughs> Fortunately, it's going to take them a little while to get here. I'm going to hope this 21k is enough to, st uh, to stave them off. They've just walked around me here. All right, Siege of Ascalon's been won. Okay, you lot don't have food. That's fine. All right, let's send back this lot. All right, go fight them up here. That's, there's so many of them. There's so many. The Seleucids. Okay, we should win that. Our capital have no rivals, apparently. I mean, we are at the border right now. They really just broke through. That's another siege lost. But that's a massive battle to win. Retreat to the ports. Finish off this lot. All right, we have to have one decisive battle here. Come on. Okay. It's close, but I think we're good. All right, that's two armies seen off. <sighs> okay. Dindar wants peace. Yes, please. That's the last of the hordes dealt with. Can we just take back some of these lands? Like, really, really badly. Antig oh, okay, right. That hurts. Antigonus is dead. We'll get the extra 3% discipline. We actually kind of need it now. All right, start taking back our lands. Do I defend Ascalon? I don't think I do. S screw it. I think, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to push back the Greeks as far as possible, then white piece them, and then we're going to go annihilate the Seleucids. For those of you wondering why I haven't pieced out Thrace, um, it's hard because they have the Great Conquest modifier. All right, let's send back our ships to go and carry the rest of our army over here when we get a chance. Nothing short of a miracle, that was. That's fine. We need to take back the forts, sort of ASAP. Okay, take back these forts is the plan. Ascalon's lost, that's unfortunate. Salt this, get that back. To fight on so many fronts, man, it's actually kind of exhausting. Okay, we've pushed them out of Syria, though. Okay. I am fighting with one hand tied behind my back here. Because of Thrace. Like, I can't afford to leave this front, otherwise, remember, every territory they take, they just annex. Fight this army, and then... Hopefully the other ones. Let's make sure we're not getting taken out from behind here. We kind of are. You need to go rest. Straight into the next battle. Okay, Thrace has actually won their war. Which is ideal for me because I can take more territory off them. Alright, let's turn back the Greeks once more. Well, the, 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 what, I, we're all Greeks, you know what I mean? The Egyptian Greeks. Uh, that's a big territory to take. Christ, how'd they do that? Oh, we won the Siege of Admon on a very low percentage. That's amazing. Oh, the Celtic people in Phrygia have settled in Phrygia. That's, not, that's nice. That's that's great. That's mm -hmm, that's great. I am I'm I'm tired, boss. Okay, I can raise a couple more levies. 
which will help things. I think I can raise more over here. Yeah, I've raised a bunch more troops over here. Christ. So I've uh, I got I've pieced out with Thrace, but apparently, for whatever reason, he's um he's gone part of Thrace as part of our treaty, which kind of sucks. We have a load of troops now that are just that are ready to go. And this should turn the tide in the east. That's an unfortunate load of territory to take. Mind you, 20,000 more men are about to come onto these shores. And honestly, I feel like we can fight two fronts uh, right now. We do need to start taking back some of these bloody forts, though. Okay. You lot are going to head east and take out that fort. Uh, you lot take this first and then head south. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more confident now. To the point where I'm going to wage total war. Yeah, I'm not letting this lot slip past me. He's going straight to my capital. Look at that. That would have been really awkward. Uh, you know, if he's going to my capital, I've got reserves that are going to come and fight him. Uh, let's fight this lot then. I killed a man because he committed mutiny. Makes sense. It's a couple more men killed. And you lot should be in here just in time to defend the capital. Okay. We also need to head south again. Alright, 20,000 fresh troops. Alright, and time to grab another 20,000. We're pushing all the way south. You clean up that. And let's start taking back some forts. I'm feeling like this lot are going to get rinsed in a sec, though. Alright, let's let's put 6k our, our legionaries over here. The delivery grease needs to chill for a little bit. Okay, 42%. That's that one. That's actually a massive portion one. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so tiring. Oh, we need a guy in Mesopotamia. Chuck you in. Let's take the forts first. I'm not sure why these things aren't flipping to me. Are they just taking a sec, or what is this? Alright, let's gather the rest of you up, put you over here, and we'll make the push eastwards. Uh, in fact, your, this 2k needs to actually go and take out stuff from behind, please. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's been literal hours of warfare. Like, IRL hours. I can't afford a silver shield. We're kind of breaking even as is. I mean, we're doing all right financially, which is nice. Uh, there's some more troops. You can see them here. Slukids are back knocking up here. Yeah, I was right. They are taking territory here. Do not want them running around. Thank you very much. Please win that. Ooh. No, that's bad. I think these guys just broke off my tributary. Ugh. I'm sending some mercenaries north to try and help with this. Oh, nice. Okay, that's good. Ascalon has been won. And hopefully we'll catch him here. I think we do. Because if we can start condensing these things down into smaller and smaller front lines, that'll be a lot easier for us to deal with. And that should... Everything behind us should flip. It does. Now let's start heading to the capital. Oh, man. Oh, right. Yeah, we've got more troops that should be coming. Including mercenaries that I just haven't been paying for. Or I haven't been using, sorry. But I've been paying for them. Let's import some base metals. Help our light infantry offense a little bit. All right. There we go. I think they won back Ascalon. Oh, okay, they did. They won back these territories behind us. That's very annoying. The Jewish territories have left us. Or well, populace have left us. Okay. All right. I think that's everything on this front that's been taken. So let's go down there. Levies without food. As is tradition. I'm actually going to try and challenge this. There's no way he has manpower. Come on, get in there, lads. Help out. That looks good to me. There we go. Honestly, yeah, heavy investing into Marshall was, was really... I mean, it saved me. I don't know if I'll be able to win this. I can try. I'll support animals. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why I launched in like that. The support animals were there first. Okay, I've just killed 2,000 troops that we really shouldn't be throwing away like that. Civil War's going to happen. That's fun. Yeah, that was, uh, was a little bit dumb for me. Fortunately, we have more troops coming. Uh, I won't put them in the Egyptian front. I think we'll put them on Seleucid front. The Egyptian front, like, is very contained. Tijigar has been won. All right, let's get to the choke points. All right, keep retreating on this front. The issue is they can just go around me. All right, we've got our spare troops fresh and ready to go. All right, who doesn't have food? You don't. Go there. Who else? You don't. Uh, go. Go there. You don't. Um, well, we're about to fight, so just wait a sec. After the siege of Seleucia, he let his troops run riot. Oof. Even deserters previously resident in Seleucia are flocking to join him. We should consider punishing him. Nah, I'll let, I'll, let, I'll let it happen. 
Okay, Sidious Seleucus has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Seleucus was settled by Seleucos Niketo as his new capital city, lying in the very centre of his enormous empire. Okay. I don't think we should, you know, burn it. That seems excessive. There's 4,000 troops over here. I'm actually going to hire more mercenaries. Apparently I can't. There's a limit. <laughs> There's a lot of troops here that I did not anticipate. I'm not going to lie. A lot more than I was expecting. Alright, this lot are going to try and hold for now. Obviously, if they can wipe out a stack or two, it would be ideal. Okay, well, we don't want them, like, nipping at our heels here. So, even though it's going to cost us a lot of manpower, we're going to throw our men in here. We know that more men are coming, so that's fine. We can borrow off this mercenary. Hmm. I don't really want to do that. I think we'll fight him. Uh, I need access. No? Because you're competing power? Hmm. Alright, we've taken Lower Egypt. We could do Diadokai Conquest. Striking the neighboring Diadokai will make them think twice about relationship with the Antigonids and keep them occupied. Okay, so that's going to give us culture happiness, heavy cavalry discipline, and also national manpower. Let's do that. Despite previous failures, we have at last wrestled the approach to the Ptolemaic Kingdom for the Ptolemaeus' so-called Kingdom, securing the great fortress of Ascalon and Canaan and, and Pelosion on the banks of the Nile. Okay. So what we need is... We need to be at peace. Uh, this has gone down, by the way. Because no one's happy because our royal resolution is stupid large. Alright, we've taken Babylon. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these mercenaries so then I can hire more. Alright, I'm just trying to take as many battles as possible because we probably have more manpower than them, right? So if we just keep on, like, grinding them, we'll win. I am trying to grind on two empires at the same time, though, which may be not the best idea. But, you know, we'll try. And once we take this, there'll be no reinforcements coming from the south. Alright, see the Memphis has fallen. Should probably be checking both fronts, to be honest. This leader is disloyal. What? Okay, right, ready? Ugh. Alright, you lot push south and you lot push west, I guess. We're now a great power instead of a major power. Nice. That makes us more likely to fall into a civil war, which is rather unfortunate, but here we are. That's a large sway of the territory we can pick up. Alright, our vassals are running around cleaning up little areas for us, which is nice. There we go. Just stack wiping a bunch of troops over and over again. That's always nice. Oh, they're retreating into me, that's why. Alright, I need more governors. Alright, you're going to be from the Stracolokilids, even though you suck. <sighs> okay. Can you still get... I think you can still get behind me. That's fine. The nice part is we're no longer suffering financially, which was kind of a big of a, a bit of a risk. We're also a massively multi-ethnic empire. Which I'm not too, too much of a fan of, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> For the purposes of this game, to be clear. Okay, we get another military tradition. Well, it looks like we can only get Greek ones. So, this one's going to give us a bunch of freemen. As well as recruiting mercenary cost minus 15%, which is pretty good. I'm going to do that. I like I like the whole uh, mercenary aspect. Okay, we can expand the Stasos mine now. Conquers Alexandria. We're going to protect it. There's so much of the Ptolemaic Kingdom, honestly. Ugh! <laughs> Don't think there's any forts. Of, okay, there's one fort. There's a couple. Actually, there's a load of forts in the west. In, in the west, okay. I'm already at max war exhaustion. I'm not really going to get another opportunity like this. The only reason I wouldn't sort of fight is uh, is <laughs> kind of laziness, to be honest. Uh, what's our capital province called? Our capital province is Syria. Because it's just occurred to me I need to be setting all these. I wonder how long these wars have been going on for, man. Since the start of the game, it's 462. <sighs> Quite a while. 10, 12 years of just conquest. Ooh, Tomb of an Emperor. So we found Alexander. Okay, my god, there's a lot of different options here. Then return to his ancestors. King Kings deserves a rightful throne, or which don't disturb him. I just saw our aggressive expansion is 107. Okay, that's fun. I wanted to return to his ancestors, I think. I mean, that, sounds, that sounds nice. So that's kind of, okay, <laughs> this is a stupid amount of aggressive expansion we're taking here. Our stability is going to be zero. Imperial ambition. Adopt the empire form. We lose 10 stability, which really... Yeah, that's not, that's not going to help us. I should be close to this, you know. So we need Siwa, Parsa, Deba... Let me see. Uh, anything in the... I think we have everything in the west we need. Okay, there's one province over here we need. We need a province in Persis. So what are we missing? Debal. Oh, Christ. Okay, well, that's not happening, is it? Attack. Okay, that's up north. So basically, we've got to fight the Marians. I mean, yeah, we'll get there eventually, I guess. I just wanted to see if I could do it now. And peace has to come soon. 
Hold them off, boys. I'll be there soon. Your sacrifice is... What's that? Something in size. What's size? S-A-I-S. -S size. Ah, oh, for God. There's a rebel army there. It's going to take me a little while to get there is the issue. Well, not if I do this. And hire these guys instead. Hired mercenaries to deal with the rebels. I've basically wiped the Seleucids off the map. There's not really much else out here. Well, that's not true. There's, there's actually quite a bit out here. But for the, for the purposes of me really wanting to peace out. Because of our abysmal aggressive expansion and uh, stability. Oh, the Egyptians were in behind me with some mercenaries. So now I've got to go deal with them. I'll tell you about these territories. Oh, Seleucids actually do have, still have troops here, apparently. Alright, there you go. Territories are one over here. Okay, they killed a lot of my troops. I don't know how many troops are there, though. There's going to be a civil war soon, so we need to go around bribing everyone. Okay, well. I think my struggles against the Ptolemaic Egyptians are done. I'm just going to do this. Apparently I took roads. So that's nice. Road enclosure. Excellent. We get Hellenic Liberator. Brilliant. It's the Ptolemaic still with. Right, I'm intentionally losing this battle just to hold them off a little bit until my actual armies can turn up. We don't have a single commander on this unit. Okay, that's that's going to be very painful. Again, take the loss in order to take this guy out. I didn't realize I had troops like running around like this, taking more territory. I really need to stop taking territory. Our stability is now zero. Lose five stability or gain five. Screw it. Lose five stability. It doesn't matter. We've got zero anyway. We're getting like minus one a month. There's nothing I can do. Okay. I think that's it. I can get him to release Persis. I want him to release his, his guys like uh, Parthia and, and others. And we're at peace. Finally. Oh my god. That took so long. Disband. Let's fire the mercenaries we have employed. Disband. And disband. Bribe you. Bribe you. Let's see. You can't because you're still disloyal. We're going to have a lot of issues with this uh, promise loyalty stuff. Antigonid supremacy. Loyalty of characters and monthly political influence. Whew, okay, to the strongest on his deathbed. Few at the time knew this prophecy. One foretold as our triumph that now sees Demetrius standing atop other Diadochi. Other successes and their bedraggled levies have been driven from the battle both and by, abandoned by both mercenaries and friends, even now taking to pursue their family members to the very ends of the earth. Whew, I am the rightful successor. Dude, my head hurts so bad after all that. We did it. I mean, there's no one else left to stand. I mean, sure, we could have pursued the uh, Ptolemaics and the uh, uh, Seleucids to absolute victory. But frankly, I think everything would have collapsed. I can form Macedon. Or we could become an emperor. Well, I suppose it makes the most sense for us to do both, right? So you form Macedon. And then get Macedonian Empire. Get 50 a month. Christ. Frankly, that is that is terrifying. Um, but we've, I mean, we won. We did it. So, uh, make sure to uh, check out um, Imperator Rome for Imperator Today. Hopefully, if I've timed this correctly, then uh, it's still ongoing. Um, yeah, that's the Antigone. It's quite a good time. Looks like Carthage got their asses kicked. That's not a healthy Carthage. Oh, Carthage in revolt. That'll be why. Uh, right, yeah. I mean, I, I maybe I'd, I, I'd continue this on stream or something. But yeah, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.